Hello and welcome back to the world of psychology. Mental accounting or how your self-regulation strategy can be used against you. Let's begin with a classical experiment by Nobel Prize winners Tversky and Kahneman. Imagine that you have decided to go to the cinema. You already paid your $10 ticket several days ago. But when you enter the cinema and you look for the ticket in your wallet, you have to realize, damn, I lost the ticket. So what would you do? Would you buy another ticket? Or would you say, no, my budget is, I don't have the money. If I buy it, I, I spent $20 for that movie. Now compare this scenario with a slightly changed version. And this time imagine that you decided to go to the cinema as well. But this time you haven't already bought the ticket. This time you enter the cinema and you want to buy the $10 ticket right before the movie starts. But before you can buy the ticket you realize, damn. I lost a $10 bill. Would you buy the ticket anyway? If you are similar to the participants from the study by Tversky and Kahneman, your willingness to buy the ticket in spite of the $10 loss should be much bigger in the condition in which you lost a $10 bill instead of the $10 ticket. In fact, in the study from Tversky and Kahneman in which 300 and 83 participants took part, 88% were willing to buy a ticket when they lost the $10 bill and only 46% were willing to buy another ticket when they originally lost the ticket. From a purely rational economic point of view, this result is really surprising because in both conditions you obviously really want to visit the cinema. And in both conditions, you lose an amount of $10. So what's going on? Tversky and Kahneman explain these results with mental accounting. It means that for different areas of life, we have different mental accounts. So for example, there is a mental account for education, entertainment, the $10 ticket for the cinema obviously belongs to the entertainment account. But there's certainly also an account for things related to our workplace or a mental account for our next holidays. So there are different mental accounts and the first reason why we have these mental accounts seems to be self-regulation. So uh, think about the cinema scenario. You lost the $10 ticket and now there is a minus of $10 in your entertainment account. And as you don't want to spend too much money on entertainment, you say to yourself, no, if I buy a second ticket, I will lose all in all $20. That's, that's not acceptable. I need the money for other accounts. Whereas when you just lose the $10 bill, it's just not clear to which mental account this minus should be counted to. So maybe on a subconscious level you might say, um, well, the loss of the $10 mean that tomorrow I can't have my regular food delivery. I will have to cook on my own to save the money. 